Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Lieutenant Governor Susan Beisowitz, and I am here with Governor Lamont and our emergency operations team. I hope that everyone is staying off the roads and staying safe in their homes. And it's my pleasure to introduce our Governor Ned Lamont for an update on the storm. Governor. Hey, thanks, uh, Susan. Um, here with Joe Gilletti, Mark Rolfe from uh, Transportation, uh, James Ravella from uh, Public Safety, um, Mark Raymond in, uh, in terms of IT and telecommunications, Paul Mounds. Uh, we have a virtual uh, emergency operations center. We've been there all morning. Some of these folks have been there all night, uh, just like the extraordinary people, uh, especially over at DOT, out there in the plows. They've been out there for um, you know, 12 hours and running right now. And it's just extraordinary what they're, what they're doing. It's a, it's a wicked New England storm and it's going um, west to east. Uh, we predict that it would lighten up in the Litchfield County Western area by um, early afternoon, not until uh, later, um, not until mid evening anyway, over in the, the greater New London Wyndham area where you're gonna have a uh, much heavier snows. Um, the good news is that um, the snow so far seems to be a little bit lighter. Uh, lighter snow means uh, less impact on trees, less impact on trees means less impact on utilities. I think there's probably maybe a hundred outages uh, right now, but we're watching this carefully with the winds picking up, uh, that could be um, a substantial issue. Um, we've been in close contact with Avangrid and Eversource. Uh, they have hundreds of crews uh, on the ground, on the ready, both tree and line to make sure that uh, your power stays up. Uh, I have been told, um, look, we have um, no tractor trailers. We shut that down at three o'clock uh, this morning. Uh, that was the right thing to do. Um, you know, rail is down, airport is down at this point. Um, uh, but I've got to urge each and every one of you to stay off the roads, like you heard Susan say. Um, right now, the, the snow is accumulating, especially in eastern Connecticut, where it's falling heavier at a uh, you know, three inches an hour. Snow plows can't come around fast enough to get that cleared. Uh, that creates um, a lot of hazardous conditions, that plus the low visibility. We found on, um, you know, I-95, there have been a couple of uh, terrible automobile accidents, one rollover, uh, what that means in terms of your safety, what that means in terms of closing down that road, even temporarily what that means in terms of making sure our plows and emergency vehicles um, can continue operating. Uh, this is gonna go on through the evening. So that's why we're urging everybody to stay safe, stay at home. Look, this is not our first rodeo. We're the gateway to New England. Uh, we've been through these storms before. I gotta tell you, I've just been extraordinarily impressed with the folks of the EOC, meeting all the folks who are gonna be out there and are out there uh, driving the snow plows. They know what they're doing. Um, Joe Gilletti's got 600 plus plows out there, a uh, little short of people, but we got enough people. And then he's got a couple hundred contractors as backup. So I think we're gonna be able to get through this uh, pretty smoothly, provided you stay safe and uh, stay home. You know, with that, I think you know the group that's around our virtual emergency operations uh, table and love to take your questions. So again, if you have any questions for the governor or members of the emergency operations center team, uh, we will try to get to them. Um, I don't know who iPhone is. If you could have your name on the uh, on, on your account, that would be helpful. I think we'll start with Mike Savino from Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Uh, governor, even with the truck ban in place, we did see some trucks on the highway until well into the morning. I don't know if you can talk a little bit about the enforcement of the ban, and uh, is that something that state police are watching out for? Look, um, we, we put it forward to 3 a.m. The tractor trailer trucks I have a hard time, especially on these incredibly uh, slick roads with low visibility. It was the safe thing to do. Uh, you know, Joe, would you like to say something else about the enforcement there or James? I'll handle the enforcement side, uh, Governor. Um, and Mike, uh, we, we did have a couple of traffic accidents uh, before the 3 a.m. Uh, traffic ban, um, but state police have been uh, stopping vehicles out there. A couple were already cited for a uh, violation. And there are some exceptions to the, 
we, we call them TT trucks, um, these tractor trailer trucks, which includes medical uh, supplies and or COVID related supplies. So um, um, sometimes we have to rely on how honest they are also. <clears throat> And Governor, we, we didn't see any ban on cars in any part of the state. Was that something you would consider, especially areas of the state that are seeing blizzard or near blizzard conditions? Uh, obviously, we talked a lot with transportation and public safety about this. And you've got to remember, uh, Mike, we also talk uh, with our neighbors in Rhode Island and Massachusetts and New York, uh, just there's some consistency there. Um, to date, the overwhelming majority of people are not driving. Um, so I'm not sure that we need a ban, um, uh, but I've got to reinforce that five times over, stay off the roads. We'll go next to Jody Latina, News 8. Good afternoon. Do we know how many violations or tickets may have been handed out? And then also, um, is there... Anything else you can report from municipalities? Is anyone having any issues? James, do you have any insights there? I'm going to hand that to the uh, Colonel Governor um, and Brenda for the, um, the second part of the question. Colonel? So there's only been a handful of infractions issued. However, two uh, tractor trailers were cited for the violation of the ban. The second part is any request for... Um, um, locals for a state assistance. So from the, from the municipal perspective, we have uh, our five regional coordinators are in constant communication with our uh, municipalities. There have been no requests for state assistance. A number of municipalities have opened up their emergency operations center, either actually or virtually, and they are, uh, they're working through the storm that way. As a quick follow-up, are the tractor trailers being held in a certain area of the state if for some reason they're unaware of the ban and they do enter the state on the highways? Mark Rolf, do you know that? Um, yes, we, we've made our rest areas and service plazas available for, for truck storage. Um, we're not physically pulling trucks over, but those spaces are available. So coordinating, with, sorry, go ahead. Coordinating with DOT and uh, and the uh, state police have been putting the uh, tractor trailers in the rest areas and the way stations accordingly on the border on the borders to the other states. We'll move along next to Paul Hughes, the Waterbury Republican American. Yeah, uh, do we have any? Um, you mentioned there's been a couple of bad accidents. You know, can we have some details on that? Each of the accidents that have occurred, uh, there were there was none that were record or were reported with serious injuries. Okay, no with serious injuries. Um, and what's uh, what's the what are, do we have any? Can we give people any idea of what's going to be happening, say, with public transit? On Sunday, what are you know, uh, or when a call might be made on um, on that? Mark, do you or Joe want to speak to that? I'm not sure if the commissioner's on the call. Um, you know, uh, we shut down transit operations, all bus operations around the state for today. Um, we envision that um, regular Sunday service will, will uh, resume, uh, assuming that the storm ends as predicted tonight, and we have most of the night to uh, clean up after that. As for rail service, um, you know, uh, Metro North is running very limited service today, hourly train service, um, all the other uh, commuter rails, Hart Hartford Line, Shoreline East, um, and Amtrak have shut down for today. Um, We'll expect an announcement uh, later today on, on res resumption of rail service. And uh, what um, do we do? We have an end time yet on the uh, tractor trailer restrictions? Well, Governor, I can take that. Um, 
you know, we're, we're, not, we're not prepared to uh, make a recommendation. We're still in the midst of the storm right now. Um, we, we need to better evaluate um, what the snowfall amounts are, what, what the wind conditions and how that impacts road uh, safety. So um, we expect by later this afternoon, we'll have a, a recommendation on the truck, the truck travel ban. Okay, thanks very much. We'll go next to Dave Collins from the Associated Press. Hi, everyone. Uh, do you know how many calls for service state police have had during the storm? And is there any reports of any flooding on the shoreline? State police have received over 500 calls for service since the start of the, uh, the, the storm from, or from recording at 0600. And with regard to the flooding, we are, um, our regional coordinators are in touch with the coastal communities. We have not heard any reports of uh, any, any flooding. All right, thank you. No more questions? I would say so far so good, but it gets a little worse before it gets better, especially in Eastern Connecticut. Um, a big hats off. Look, we've got um, snowplow guys who have been out there for hours. They got a you know 12 to 17 hour shift going round the clock. We got folks there backing up, keeping the roads clean and safe for other essential workers as they have to go to nursing homes, have to go to hospitals and the such. And uh, the biggest thanks you can give to those folks who are going beyond the call and keeping us safe is to stay off the roads yourself for a little bit longer. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate everything you're doing, especially at the EOC. And I just wanted to add for uh, people to please check on neighbors that are older or may need help. Thank you. Take care, everybody.